We are, we are so excited for Suicide Squad. We haven't seen it yet. Um, it's breaking box office records around yeah, the world, yeah, as yeah, you yeah. know. Um, you have been everywhere around the world promoting this movie, so it, it's evident that you are excited about it yourself. Yeah, it's a... Why? Why is that? You know, it's um, there's something about this comic book world that causes people to go crazy. <laughs> you know? Very true. There is such massive energy you yeah. know, people are coming dressed up as the characters <laughs> and it, you know, and, but the, everywhere in the world, there's like this really um, beautiful uh, communal energy that gets created around these these uh, these comic book movies. So yeah. I just I love being a part of it. It's really inspiring. And uh, uh, for for me, yeah, I'm 47 years old, so it's also a connection back to the vein of what is going on, yeah. you know, for for 18, 17 year olds. Yeah, you. I mean, in the movie, I've just seen the trailers, and mm -hmm. you are barely recognizable. Like, it doesn't look like Will Smith. It's it's dead shot. Like, you look so different. Like, for, not for once, but you just look so no, different. I love I love making that that uh, uh, transition. That's David Ayer, the director. Like, yeah. um, there's in, in Hollywood, there are unspoken rules, right? Mm. So. Um, Lead actors don't have bald heads <laughs> and don't have beards, right? Those are right, right. Okay. yeah. Okay. So David Ayer was like, "You're gonna have a bald head and a beard. <laughs> We're breaking both of those." I've never seen you with a bald head. Bald head you know. look so different. I can't yeah. it. Well, there's all these bald men now with beards that you've just pioneered the way I know, right? Yeah. Lead actors yeah. in roles. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the competition has exactly. just been blown out of the water. Uh, so how do you prepare for the, these kind of roles? Like, are you like I kind of envision it as like a study mode because I'm yes. a, I cram. Mm -hmm. I'll be last minute and then I'll just I'll do an all nighter and I'll submit it. Yeah. Is, what's your technique with how you learn your lines and how you get into your acting mode and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff? Well, what's, what's difficult about, uh, you know, playing a character and trying to find something like this is there's a, there's a part of it that's just magic, mm -hmm. right? That you can't plan, you can't time. You know, you just you just keep going and keep going, and you trust that by by doing your work, one day you'll feel it. Um, and uh, I have n I've never played a bad guy like this this yes. character in the past, and I realized why I don't I, I don't get the mindset. You you know, mm -hmm. this is a guy who takes money to assassinate people. You know, <laughs> yeah. essentially, yeah. Yeah, you seem like you got your head around yeah, that pretty yeah, yeah. easily, yeah, yeah. though. I, I, well, I, I, I could easily play a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bad guy every day when I wake up. I just I'm not again. Oh, you know? no. but uh, but it was such a difficult mindset for me to to understand. So it was a it's a real exploration when yeah. you 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 play those characters. You try to get into it. You try to understand. And what what was the the revelation for me with this character is bad guys don't see themselves as the bad guy. To the bad guy, he's the hero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the bad guy is the hero of his story, and the good guy is the bad guy, <laughs> right? And that was such a huge revelation for me as an actor, but then also as a person, even in world issues, that part of why people <laughs> collide is you think the other person knows they're doing wrong. That's right. They don't. <laughs> they think you're doing wrong. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a big disagreement. It's a big, yeah. Yeah. Right. across the world. Yes, exactly. We've solved the world issues here I today. know. You've got to read a book on the ego. You're like, okay, ego. Okay, this right. is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. For a moment there, when you said that a lot of it is just magic, I mm. thought you were going to say that arguably the biggest superhero movie or a supervillain movie of the last decade, you just... Just winged your role, just kind of just turned. I know, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, that is acting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just kind of, eh, you know, roll out of bed well. every morning, and hope for the best. <laughs> we, 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 we were chatting before uh, this week on the show um, about something that your son said mm -hmm. um, that you, you couldn't go any further on. Just this. so you know, as a parent, yeah. whenever I hear, uh, you know, it was something your son said. I'm like, oh no. Here we go. <laughs> oh <laughs> no. Oh, what did he say? Red flags. What did he going? say? Because <laughs> Jaden says anything. I know, well, great. Yeah. I yeah. listened to his radio show. I'm like, this guy's he great. He said anything. <laughs> I was like, oh no. But he did say that. Yeah. yeah. Where, where do you, you can't go anywhere from here. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's such a great role for you in such yeah. a fantastic movie. Yeah. What is the next step? Um, you know, it, it's uh, he he thought that Deadshot and and the Suicide Squad was fantastic. You yeah. know, uh, 
I I, uh, I looked at it. I I liked it, but he went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, you know, that's a good movie, you know. But he he, he lost it. So you know, for for me, I, I I'm at a point in uh, I'm at a point in my career where um, I'm you know beyond worrying about box office or yeah. beyond worrying mm. about awards or anything like that. Like yeah. I'm for the first time in my career, I'm free. That's you know, awesome. I what get to, I'm ju- yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna have fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, flow with the great river. I'm gonna take oh. what comes next, and yeah. and uh, I'm gonna you know continue to learn and grow and experience. And uh, you know, I feel like uh, more than ever in my in my my life and in my career, I have something to offer, and I've sort of honed my gifts in a way that it'll be fun to see what happens over the over the next decade of my life and career. What a great place to be in. Yeah, I want to yeah. be there. Well I, th- well, I think really, when you're interviewing Will Smith, that's pretty much the pinnacle for radio announcers. So I think we're in the same position. Okay, right, yeah, well. yeah, yeah, you peaked. We're ready to go on the Great River. What else? Yeah, 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 you know, you <laughs> just got to go on the yeah. Great River. It's like, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever's next, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We you. actually have a vessel to go on the Great River. It's going to be great. Gonna, we'll see you down there, actually. We'll be waving to you. It'll be fantastic. So, yeah. are you, any music on the way? Any, are you thinking anything like that? You know, I've been re- I've been recording for, for you know, probably the last year. So, I have uh, maybe... I probably have 20 songs and I, I like four. <laughs> you know, so I'm trying to get my ratio up a little yeah. bit. So. Does Jaden get to hear them? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. You know, he keeps telling me, Dad, listen, stop. You're making records like the 1940s. Like, <laughs> just put them out. Just put them out. Stop. You don't need an album. Put three songs out. Just right. put it out. You know, yeah. and he's like, you don't have to, the record company isn't going to hold your release. You don't have a record company. YouTube's your record company. <laughs> you, you need to remember, you're Will Smith. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. It's good, yeah, yeah. I guess. saying that, like, you know, you, you have done the music route for a long time. Yeah. Uh, for decades, and the movie route as well. Sometimes don't you feel like saying, well, what do you know? Yeah, I know, <laughs> exactly. Had the record, exactly. You know? Listen, son. Yeah, yeah no, it, it was funny with Willow, with Willow she, uh, she performed at the Roots Picnic. Right, yeah, yeah. And it was in it was in Philadelphia. So I was, you know, born, West Philadelphia, born and raised. Yeah. So of course. <laughs> Willow said Willow said, um uh, she said, Oh dad, I'm performing in Philly, so um I'm gonna have you come out at the end. And I said, Oh, you gonna just you just gonna you just gonna have me, you know, come out at the end. She said, Yeah, I think it would be great if you performed summertime. I was like, yeah, what, you, you mean the, the number one, uh, you know, platinum selling Grammy Award winning? Some, that would be great, Willow. Yes. That would, that would, would. would. Like, let me bring it's you back like, down to it. Yeah, and it's like, just, no, it's <laughs> like, <laughs> just like, no, guys, I'm somebody. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to you, I'm just your dad. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just the dude to keep the lights on. But I'm somebody <laughs> in the world. Oh, dear. <laughs> Love it. Um, and, and modest as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the number one selling product. Willow? Yeah, but you're just gonna come. You, you're just gonna walk into my bedroom and tell me I'm gonna perform at your show. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I know. Right? Jada, tell him. Tell her. Tell her. It's been an absolute privilege. We're out of time. Oh, um, thank you. Uh, Will Smith, obviously starring his Deadshot in Suicide Squad, mm. out around the world, breaking records everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's out here in the UAE. We cannot wait to see it. We really Again, can. thank you so much. Thank you very privilege. much. Thank absolute you. Pleasure. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Cool. Dubai 92.